Hey guys, welcome to the TechSource.tv. My name is Dan, and today we're taking a look at the Fantex PHTC14 PE CPU cooler. Now, since the CPU's uh, cooler has come out, it's actually um, came out in multiple different colors. As you can see, we have this amazing orange one. It's got this nice 14 centimeter orange fans with orange uh, fins, which is really awesome. And you can also get it in red and blue and silver, and as well as you can get it in a snow white edition, I would call it. Well, it's white, it's just pure white, it's really awesome. So you can get it in five different colors, which is really awesome. And basically today on this video, we're gonna be focusing on the performance of the CPU cooler, how well it compares against other ones we've tested, and as well as we'll be uh, reviewing uh, the performance, not the performance, but the sound, the acoustics of it, so how quiet really it is. So basically we'll have a mic close to it and I'll explain that later on. And just overall visual styles. If you want to check out what came in the box and all that kind of fun stuff, check out our unboxing video. I'll add an annotation or a link in the description. So anyways guys, stick around. Today we're going to be reviewing the Fantex PH PTC 14 PE CPU cooler. So stick around. <laughs> So we're going to go over the exterior styling of the Fantex PHTC14 PE CPU cooler, and ours is the orange one, as I said before. Uh, so quick things about it, some quick specs. It mounts on all current Intel, all current Intel sockets, 2011, 1155, 1156, 775, as well, and 1366, which is really great. So pretty much whatever you got, it's going to mount on. And for the you AMD guys, it's going to mount on AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM3+, and even FM1. And that's just going to be using your stock uh backplate so that's not bad for your intel guys you can install a backplate and things like that it gets a little more complicated but it's not very hard to install it's a pretty simple unit to install and it's really nice it holds on real good um some other cool things about the construction about it is we got these nice aluminum fins here color coded uh to whatever color you desire and as well as we got a copper base nickel plated with copper heat pipes we have uh five heat pipes and each of them are eight millimeters thick which is really awesome so they actually are copper heat pipes so that's really cool and then as well as we got the 240 millimeter fans and as our orange unit being orange we have orange fans which is really sharp with white uh actual frames for the fans which is really good i really like that so they got about nine blades per fan and they got these uh vortex booster design so that's what it says on the box and uh each fan is about 2.8 watts and they um spin at a max rpm of 1200 rpm which is very low and they claimed of uh, 19 decibels of acoustic noise and i could totally go for that it is really quiet and you can you can use the low noise adapter and they go down to about 900 rpm and they go down to only 15 decibels which is not bad they push a good amount of air but not tons of air so it's this is more meant to be a large form factor but silent cpu cooler so that's that's definitely something to keep in mind and coming on to the, the fact that it is very large it measures as a total height of 171 millimeters with fans it's 140 millimeters wide and 169 millimeters in length so it's a very large cooler and going on along with its girth it measures in at a total of 970 grams in total weight without fans now adding the fans will add an uh, add a little bit more weight to it it'll be 1250 grams so it's quite heavy so especially when you're transporting your system be very careful um, it's going to put extra stress on that motherboard but with the big cpu uh, bracket it puts on the back it really helps distribute the weight and it's got nice cushions and all that um so that's really good. So it's a, it's a nice overall unit. Like design wise, it's really sharp. Orange is going to be a little hard to find matching parts for. I'm going to say right away. But there's some of those gigabyte orange motherboards, the OC boards that came out a while ago, and there might be a few other orange boards. But maybe for you guys with the red boards, uh, getting a red cooler or a uh, blue one, you're just going to be easier to match it with. But I think orange is really cool, and I think more companies should use orange for colors. It's different. I like it. So it, it, it's cool. And that's pretty much it about the exterior styling. It looks really sharp. I like it. And as well, it's got nice little detail touches like Fantex is built into the fan frames and Fantex on the top of the tower stacks. So that's really cool. It's Overall, it's a good design. It looks nice. So let's go ahead and look at acoustic performance. So our first test will be acoustic performance. I have it hooked up to a uh, Bitphoenix Hydra Pro uh, fan controller. They are set to the lowest setting. So I'll shut up for a minute. And the mic is right here so you can hear it. All right, now I'm gonna turn up the first fan to max, and the second one. All 
Now, when this is in a case and you're literally your ear is not right next to it, um, it won't be sound nearly as loud. But this is actually, um, I'm sitting about a foot away from it, and it's a, not a loud sound, but it's a low hum. That's what you really hear. So it's not like a like a like that. So you in this once you put it in an enclosure, you're not really going to hear the noise, and it's not going to be really more any audible over say a power supply fan or maybe a video card fan or something like that or even some of your case fans. So this is actually a fairly quiet unit and at max speed it's only really pushing, they're saying, a max of 19 decibels per fan. So it's actually not that bad. So I'll let you have another gander. Hey, I'll turn the fans down. So it's not that bad. So there you guys go. The uh, audio portion of the Fantex PHTC 14 PE cooler. So we've come to the, por the portion of the test where you've probably wanted to see the whole video. Anyways, um, so performance reviews. Now I just want to go over a few things of how we test our coolers. They sit in an open bench, which is our high speed test piece, a high speed test PC top deck station or something like that it's called. Anyways, it's just an open bench. You throw a motherboard on top of it and you pop your coolers on. It's really simple. It's great for changing on hardware. A lot easier than doing it through cases. Uh, the good benefit about that is, yes, it's easy to change hardware, too. There's nothing else assisting the cooler, so it's open air around it, so whatever, it's just going to suck air and throw it out. So that's really good, too. So you, you really get to see the true performance of the cooler. And as well as we run uh, an i7-377K, uh, overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz for our overclock test. We know we use stock clock test as well for 3.5 gigahertz. And the turbo mode's turned off, so you get a nice even clock. So no fluctuations while Prime 95 is running for about 10 minutes under load, and then another, then it's turned off for 10 minutes just for a cool down test, and then we'll take the numbers after another 10 minutes after that as an idle test. So we run load, cool down for 10, so we run 10 minutes load, 10 minutes cool down, then 10 minutes after that. So a total of a 30 minute test, um, then we get our two numbers and plop them into our Excel chart and see what's what, see where they place. So that's really cool. And uh, that's about it. So anyways, guys, um, here are the numbers. time. So the Fantex PHTC 14 PE cooler performed actually very well. So well it beat out an H100 under stock under stock clocks and kept up with an X40 under actually beat out an X40 on, on, on in silent mode and was close to an X60 in silent. So those are some great those are some good all-in-one water cooling units. Now the H100 is a bit older now, but the X60 and the X40 in silent mode those are brand new coolers onto the market using 140 millimeter fans as well. So audio wise, they're about the same. But the difference between an air cooler and a water cooler or an all-in-one water cooler compared to a full-on blown water cooling kit is the complication factor is way less. You don't have to worry about potential leaks, pump failure, and it just uses less power in general. And it's cheaper, it's a lot cheaper. At $109, not on sale, it's a lot cheaper than an X60 or an X40. And it's just easier to install too because you don't have to worry about like so many other like other variables. Does it fit in my case? Well, if you got a case with lots of room on the top and the bottom where your motherboard goes, you're pretty much good. It'll fit in almost any good standard mod modern mid tower nowadays. So a larger mid tower, it'll fit in. You know, you don't have to worry about, oh, do I have two by one twenty mounting or oh do I have two by one forty mounting or a single one forty mounting with a bit of extra room. You know, you just don't have to worry about any of that jazz. It just works and it goes into your PC and it's simple. I like that. And it comes in great colors, red blue, orange, white, and silver, so that's really awesome. It beats out our old king of, of air coolers, the eight Noctua D14. It's more expensive than a D14, but it looks better than a D14, and is, it performs better than a D14, so it kind of yields why it's more expensive. It's just better in every way, almost, so that's really cool. Um, and as well, when you go to overclocking, it performs really good as well. You know, it keeps up with an X40 on silent, and it still, again, beats up the D14. So it consistently is the best all larger form factor air cooler we have. So that's really awesome. And as well as I said, it's, it's quiet. So I know I looked it around. Today's about, it's the end of February 2013. 
I looked around to some of the uh, online retailers in Canada. So there's a few we have uh, that I generally shop at. And I looked around online for prices. They're on sale right now for about 80 bucks. It's like 75 bucks. That's an exceptional deal. And can't go wrong. You know, you're getting an amazing cooler that performs really good. And you can get it in so many different colors. And even not on sale, it's still a pretty good deal. But if you can find it on sale, it's even better. So anyways, guys, this was the, this was the Fantex PHTC 14 PE cooler. I really like it. It's a good package. Um, performs really well and it's quiet. So that's pretty much checks all the boxes of things I like about CPU coolers. And if that checks all the boxes for you, please check it out. If you found this video informative, please remember to like this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to subscribe and you'll get you'll get information updates all the time in your YouTube uh, subscription feed. And as well as you can check out all our other videos that we post of professionally non-professional stuff. For example, Question Source, uh, which is our Q&A series. And as well as we have the actual Tech Source news show, which is weekly news. So anyways, guys, we'll see you next time on TechSource.tv. We'll be punching boxes and throwing things around and reviewing cool stuff. So see ya.